What's up everybody, it's Spirit with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Skyrim Special Edition. Uh, I probably won't mention the Special Edition every time just because that's kind of annoying. Um, in the last episode we kind of started things off and I kind of left things a little bit up in the air to kind of get some feedback from everybody as far as how we wanted to play because I thought it would be a little more interesting um, to leave it up to viewership rather than just doing my own thing because I've played through the game enough times that it kind of would yield itself to something a little different. Um, and I actually got a couple of comments. One was uh, referring to it would be cool to see a pure mage. I have to admit, I normally play like a Nightblade kind of thing where it's stealth, daggers, one-handed, you know, things like that, and complementing magic and things. I rarely have played a full-on mage where, you know, you don't really use any other weapons other than spells. So that would be kind of interesting to try. Hence the attire. I changed out of my um, Imperial Heavy armor and went for the robes, because I actually forgot that I had those, but I picked them up in the torturing cell in the first part, and the first stuff I think came from the stor Stormcloak armor. Um, so yeah, we already had some mage robes, which worked out pretty good. So I currently have my fire in one hand and um, healing in my other. And it's going to be my kind of go-to spells at the moment. I'm glad to help any way I can. And let me know also, I'm still trying to balance out... Skyrim's a little different than most of the other games that I play, so I'm still trying to balance out some of the game volumes and things like that. Um, so I did alter it a little bit. Let me know if it's a little better than the last episode. Where the... Oh, it's them talking down the street. I was like, who is talking? So before we get off and running, I'd like to kind of visit this place. One of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. But thief chasing is fun. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Mm -hmm. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Me too. So, one other thing that I meant to bring up, though, we still haven't quite decided... I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Um, we still haven't really decided if I'm going to be any kind of thief or anything. Part of me is really having a hard time not, because I normally am pretty klepto about Elder Scrolls games. So, it's kind of hard for me not to just, like, swipe everything in here. Camilla, or I will be happy to help you. Maybe you're looking for something particular. Yeah, like I spells. I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. Oh, we're going. We're going there. Items above the divider, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so they, they did remove um, kind of the barter system type of thing that was in, like, Oblivion and Morrowind and stuff where you had, like, uh, kind of like you could raise the prices and make it a little better and things like that. Um, let me just get rid of all this crap at this point. All the heavy armor and things I don't really need. Good gravy. I had a lot of stuff. I am going to keep one sword. Might as well keep the arrows and stuff. Um, iron. Eh. I'm going to hang on to my lockpicks and a bow, just in case. You never know. Uh, stamina we won't really need. Oh, I already had a spell book. That's cool. Don't know where I got that from. Ooh, now that's a six. This is a nine. You know what? We are going to sell this. We're going to keep the steel dagger. Oh, they do have a speech system. Okay, so they... they did have that in there, but you had to like put points and stuff into, um, into that kind of stuff. So what do we got? Frostbite would be a good one. Ward I never really could do that well with. Ooh, Oak Flesh would be good. I definitely want to get that. Raise Zombie would probably be good. So we're definitely getting that one. Reanimate a weak body. E Let's do frostbite. Clairvoyance. It's cool, but I never really needed it. Like they, there's all the. Now, if I added a mod or something to where you did like no quest markers, that would be a little different. Um, let's do raise zombie. Cause I never really could 
do well with the wards. I mean, I know that it can work, but I've always had issues with them, so I'd rather do oak flush. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing an ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. And, um... Get those thieves. You should head to Bleak Falls Barrow. So this is your plan, town. Lucan? <laughs> yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your I'm, new I'm, I'm here just, a guy. I'm just gonna leave. Well, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. Only to the edge of town. This cracks me up. This town is not that big. I could walk, like, five feet and be at the edge of town. <laughs> it's like, what is the point? Now, one thing, again, this is kind of one of those coming from having played it already. Town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. Mm-hmm. You can see it from here, though. I know. The mountain just over the buildings. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the things that kind of hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna leave. Um I was gonna say though, uh one of the reasons I took that quest already was because I know that when you go to uh White Run, which is part of the normal uh main quest, they're gonna tell you to go over to Bleak Falls anyway. So it's kind of one of those kill two birds, one stone type of thing. Uh, let's see. Riverwood. Right, White Run is this way. But it doesn't really tell you which way. I think it's best to go around. I think left goes up towards Bleak Falls. I think. I'm not really sure. Um, and I am probably going to... Um, it was also suggested we do the Mage Guild quest line kind of thing, and that's totally fine. The only reason I'm sticking with the um, um, immediate, yeah, the main one for the immediate moment is because eventually they tell you to go to Bleak Falls, you go there, and you get your first dragon shout, and they kind of set you up to where you fight a dragon and things like that to where you can kind of unlock your shouts. Um, so I kind of want to do that first. After that, though, when they tell you to go up to the Greybeards, that's kind of an annoying quest to me. Because they'll tell you to go up to the Greybeards, and it takes forever to get to... What is that one? Iverstead. Or whatever this, the little town is right next to the Greybeards mountain. So I find that quest to be a little bit annoying, so I'll probably go up through until they, the Greybeards summon you. Uh, and then I'll probably end up detouring and going to the Mage's Guild quest, is what I think I'm going to do. And we'll go from there as we go, kind of thing. That's my idea. Okay, so we're a little bit along the way, and I forgot about this part, too. Let's see if we can't help out a little bit. Nope. Guess not. You look strong. Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. No thanks to- hey, I didn't- you know, ever hear a friendly fire? Well, that's legit with me because I'm actually casting fire. Certainly not. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. I was going to. That's why I'm here, with my shield brothers. Mm-hmm. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Sounds cool. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Listen, I need to train some more. Here's a question. Do Khajiit count as people since they're not really human? Or are they more like beings kind of thing, like humanoids? You know what I mean? Like, what category do they fall under? I I need to train some more. Not that they're not, like, people people in terms of, you know, they have their own cultures and, you know, that kind of stuff to where it's like, I'm, I'm digging a hole. Basically, not that they're not equals, it's just I don't know if they quantify as, like, 
a person or if they're considered still an animal breed. It's basically what I was getting at. Actually, Khajiits and Argonians are pretty freaking awesome in the Elder Scrolls lore and stuff. They have some really interesting... Like, Argonians can breathe underwater and they're um, super resistant to poisons and things like that. I do think it's kind of messed up. Let me see if let me, before I make that claim. Oh, they do. They do have night eye. Is it a power? Eh. See, that's the only thing is being the power things, I think you can only use powers once a day, which is kind of weird. Let me see real quick. If I use this. Halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Good thing I'm on official business then. Um, let's see. Riverwood's in danger too. You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach at the top of the hill. Good to know. Now, that spell is supposed to be. Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. That spell is supposed to be for 60 seconds. Okay, so I turned it off. Oh! Okay, that's pretty awesome then. They changed how powers work, I guess. Or at least for the Khajiit. Okay, I stand corrected. I was, I was up here thinking like they should have a Night Eye spell all the time because they're Khajiit. They're known for being super sneaky and can see in the dark and stealthy and all that kind of stuff. Apparently they do. That's pretty awesome. Okay, whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job. But don't expect the miracle. I can't remember if there's a quest or not that deals with them overhearing them and stuff like that. Sometimes I'll, I'll probably let NPCs talk and things because I can't remember where you acquire certain quests from. And sometimes if you let them talk, then you'll pick up I things. With my mother, sell fruits and vegetables. That's nice. You're not going to give me a quest. <laughs> All right, so let's go see the Jarl. I'm, I'm acting like I'm in a hurry, you know? I mean, there was a dragon attack. Run! Okay. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgrath is not receiving visitors. He's receiving urgent visitors. Um, Riverwood is in danger about the dra- yeah, let's do that one. House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. I just did. Um, let's do this one. Whatever you have to say to the Jarl, you can say to me. I'm it's starting right to think- I want to hear what he has to say. Ha! So there. I think it happens either way. What's this about Riverwood being in danger? Gerda owns the lumber mill, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Pillar of the community. Not prone to blights of fancy. Nope. And you're sure Helgen was destroyed by a dragon? Um, this wasn't some Stormcloak raid gone pr wrong? Pretty, pretty sure. By Ismir, Irelet was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue oh. to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. The Jarl dragon dragon is lurking in the mountain. view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. Probably a good idea. Excuse me. I'll return to my duties. 
That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. I like how he gave me steel armor when I'm clearly standing here in mage robes. It's like, um, yeah, I can totally use that. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. <laughs> Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what could be more simple? An old tomb. Built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. Sure they can, I just came from there. Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable places. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Where can I learn about magic? What student are you? Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the college at Winterhold. I'm surprised that it hasn't actually given me a quest marker for that kind of stuff. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to guess. Okay, let's see if... Do I have anything else to sell? Oh, that's right. I need to use all of these. <laughs> um... Let's see, what do you have? Bound Battle Axe. I don't have any... Ooh, he has Bound Sword. That would be a good one. At least it gives you some kind of weapon, even as a pure mage, as opposed to, like, always relying on your... Um, magic stuffs. Muffle's fun if you're playing as a stealthy guy, which I usually use. And if you get into if we get into enchanting like our armor and stuff, soul trap would be a good one to have. Though you can actually upgrade your bound swords to possess a soul trap on them already. So that's that's an interesting way to go about it as well. Uh, we don't have nearly the money to buy anything from him. Off this to Bleak Falls Barrow with you. The yard is we not use to fight this dragon. Neither am dragons. I. We need it quickly before it's too late. Got it. I'm on it. Of course, y'all about Ruth. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure he will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Good to know. Let's go get it done. Um, I am gonna fast travel probably back to Riverwood real quick, um, since it's the closest place. Okay, so here we are at the crossroad back where we went that way for white run i'm pretty sure if we go this way it eventually leads into bleak fall i have found that if you're wandering around you can kind of get in weird spots where you get lost or not necessarily lost but um you kind of get into some weird spots where you're like did they even intend for me to be here kind of thing um, but if you're following quests, generally you can take roads, and you're usually okay, and end up where you need to go. 
it's when you try and kind of deviate from the map and beeline or something like that, you might end up in some weird spots. I know I've done that more more times than I can count. Um, but typically, you can get away with it, uh, following the, the roads fairly strictly, and you can usually end up where the quest wants you to go. I kind of messed up some quests before doing stuff like that because I'll basically walk around something and you'll miss a sequence of some kind of trigger. Now ain't this a surprise? I guess. It's a surprise for me. Alright. Um, while I've still got inventory space, let's just take all of the stuff. Well, there's three of them. That's a surprise. I won't? You sure about that? Yeah, I know, my magic's low. This is kind of the only real issue with um, a pure mage build, is typically if you're doing like a night blade or something, then you'd revert to your steel, like, dagger or weapons or something. Um... But if you're, if you're doing a pure mage, then it's a little hard. Now, one thing that is kind of cool is when you have a bound weapon that you can kind of cast it and use it like a normal sword without as much risk. Because while you're not... While you have it extended or whatever, or cast, you basically aren't going to lose it and your magic can come back, which is kind of kind of a cool tactic to use. And since, technically, Conjuration is still a magic thing, you know, just saying. We could totally do that and not actually have it affect our pure mage playthrough kind of thing. Still would kind of like input, though, as far as... <laughs> um, I will say, if we, de if we decide not to do any kind of thievery or whatever, it'll make it a little more challenging for me, because I typically play that way. So not playing that way would make things a little more... different. Oh, and you know what? I still did not use all of those books. So Frostbite... Okay. Um, and let's undo those. So pretty much, since again we're kind of a magey kind of thing. Wait, did that? That unfavorited them. So pretty much all of our stuff's gonna be like this. And you can actually, I'm playing with a controller by the way, I forgot to mention that, um, and you can hold on uh, your left and right d-pad and set favorites. I don't know if on a keyboard and mouse if you can do um, more favorites than two because you're basically dealing with um, you know, you have all the different buttons kind of thing. What happened to my view here? That was weird. Okay, so there's definitely people up here. It's also different for me not playing stealthfully either, like sneaking up and uh, trying to take them by surprise kind of thing, just kind of rushing in is weird. Arrows! Arrows to the left of me, arrows to the right of me. Thankfully we're not doing too bad though. Um, especially with like our... Uh, damage and stuff. What?! You remind me of my cousin's cat! That's different. Ah, oh, crap, I'm out. Oh, almost. Got him. Yeah, we're not actually doing terrible, it's just our magic resources at the moment are kind of low. So that's something that... Um, I don't usually do a whole lot of potions and alchemy and things like that. Um, normally what I'll do is kind of just dump more points into the Magicka branch and use perks that will reduce costs for spells. It's typically kind of how I offset that. But like I said, I normally play like a Nightblade, so I'm not really used to purely using spells. So it's a little less on the micromanaging your Magicka than it is um, 
you don't have to worry about it as much. You kind of just cast until you run out and then use your sword kind of thing. I don't know either, now that I think about it. I never really tried to use spells as a sneak attack thing. How's our weight? Alright, I'm going to stop probably picking up armor and stuff unless it's special. Because we're running out of room. Yeah, see, I didn't get any sneak attack bonus for that. I wasn't sure if I would or not. Oh, I thought he died. Die. Okay. I will say, um... Like I mentioned before, I've never really tried the whole, like, two-handed weapon, heavy armor kind of builds, but mages in in uh, Skyrim, at least, I think it kind of started around Oblivion, um, because Oblivion was the first one... Let me see if I can keep all this straight. Oblivion was the first one where your magic and stuff regenerated normally. Um, and then, like, ooh... That wasn't stealing, that was just locked. It's, it's different. It's bandits. Um, they're not using them. Oh, I thought that was webbing I had to break. I will say, I'll probably accomplish things a little bit quicker if we decide not to be a sneaky thief or something, because I won't be worried about sneaking around. But I haven't really tried... I don't know if, like, a fireball that you can project out and let it hit would count as a sneak attack bonus or anything like that, but um, I don't think I got any sneaking damage for using a spell like that. But anyways, on, um, I think it was Oblivion started it where your magicka came back on its own and then your robes and things like that could, could help. I don't think Morrowind had any of that, if I remember correctly. Morrowind was one of those um, where you always had to use potions and things. I think this guy kills himself. I don't think I have to do anything. Because he got the combination wrong. <laughs> Serves you right. Okay. Now, let's not do that. Um, steel sword, iron dagger. Alright. So we have snake, snake, and whale, I think. I'm not really sure if those are the right animals or not. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Okay, that should open it. Voila! <laughs> oh, I didn't check up there to see if there's anything useful. But yeah, it's, it's kind of... I, I am feeling a little odd because I don't normally play this way. It's it's very weird to just be like do 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 and just run around everywhere. Yes, please. Ooh, a soul gem. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not opposed to taking things. Uh when they're red, it means you're stealing them. So there's that oh crap. I hate rats. They always give you diseases. Ataxia. I don't remember what that one does. I think it's stamina. Let me see. In case anyone was wondering, because it took me a while to figure this out, you can always go to active effects, and you can see what negative effects are by the red. So Ataxia is lockpicks, and pickpocketing is harder. So that's a bad one to have if you're a thief, basically. Scroll of Fireball... I never really use scrolls that much either. Um, I usually sell them and make lots of money. Nope, not me. Not none of them. All right. Shelob. Oh, I didn't realize it says wounded frostbite. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That thing hurt me like, whoa! Alright, I may have to 
may have to use some magic potions here. Um, I wonder if something like Spark would work better on them. I don't know. I mean, if it's a Frostbite spider, I would guess fire would be its weak element. I'm trying to kill it. I might have to use a potion. I, norm I normally don't, but... And I don't have, like, the dual wield casting yet to where it'll double, because you can get to where it'll, like, increase the damage. Ooh, speaking of which... Let's level up. Yes, we know. So you can put your points into anything. I'm bringing some of that kind of stuff up just in case anyone doesn't already know that. I'm gonna do... Part of me wants to do restoration, but because I'm going... With pure magic, I kind of need my offensive spells to cost less, as it is. Ow. Dang it. As I say that, I get hit by stuff and need to heal. I guess it'll just be a trade-off kind of thing. I just need to keep bouncing. Yes, I know my health is low, that's why I'm healing. Duh. I already used all my magic potions, didn't I? Dang it. I could use healing ones and then stop using my other stuff. Let's do that. What is he complaining about? He's wrapped up in a web. The thing's over here fighting me. Alright. That was annoying. Oh my gosh, I'll get this guy down just to shut him up. Don't leave me for RK's sake. You did it, you killed it. Yes. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Good for you. Cut me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Hmm. I don't trust him. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. Well, you realize I don't use swords, so... It's coming loose. I can feel it. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? Hey, come back here. I always thought he attacked you. I didn't know he ran off. Get back here. Where are you going? There's... You're making me miss stuff. Just gonna burn everybody. Oh, I hate these things. Woo. Okay, that is much better though. Um, like the whole reducing the cost of a spell kind of thing. That's gonna help a lot. Particularly for our offense kind of thing. Alrighty. Now that that's taken care of. And I don't usually pick up any of their ancient Nordic stuff because it's usually not worth the weight. Like they have a lot of it's it's a lot of weight, but they're not really that valuable. Which is kind of ironic when you think about it, because you would think they're old, so it'd be like antique and ancient kind of thing, but no no. So we got the claw. And we're gonna take his journal. Which if we read it. I don't remember what it does anything. So the big thing is, uh, Nords put in place to... Er, the legend says there's a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away, but that when you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hand. Um, so it was actually a pretty cool way that they did that. I've always enjoyed the, the Claw... Um, the Claw puzzle, basically, because there's more than one in the game. So I've always enjoyed those. It was a pretty neat idea. But, let's see. Anything else in here worth stealing? I mean, taking. <clears throat> not stealing. We're not a thief, after all. 
Jerry's still out at that, actually. Um, so I think we're going to wrap things up here for this episode because it's getting a little long. I'm trying to keep them relatively normal length. Um, but with RPGs like this, the quests and things tend to be kind of long. So um, we're going to wrap things up here. We'll pick this up next time. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!